further, and that's okay. Um, I think eventually, a whole bunch of us, well, for initially, I think a whole bunch was like, well, Mr. Kenny, I have no clue what are the possible values. I saw some people very quickly come up with an inequality. I saw some people come up with an answer and then doubt themselves very heavily. Um, but I want you to recognize playing around with things is okay, but there are two really easy ways to get to this answer. First off, and I've done this every time we had a question like this, and you want to think, start thinking like this. In one hour, how much gas has Han used? 0 0.4. What? Gallons. How much has he used in a second hour? 0 0.4 gallons. And a third? 0.4. And what is going to happen with all those gallons? They're going to add up, right? We want to recognize that. And I think Lexi said one of my favorite things is I kept asking, well, well how many times are we going to add 0 0.4 up? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> yes, we don't know. So what can we use? Problem. We can use a variable. So I've got a 0 0.4, I've got a variable, and what do I need to do with those two things? Mix them. What did you say? Mix them. <laughs> Mix them? Okay, uh, let's look for a more mathematical term. Okay, how am I going to combine them? Am I going to add them, subtract them, divide, yeah, multiply? Multiply. 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 Right? Why am I multiplying? <laughs> Mix them. Because you're repeated adding. I'm repeatedly adding. Oh my lord, I've heard that so many times. It's in my dreams. And has it changed? <laughs> Have we gotten it yet? A handful of us, maybe, but we're still struggling with that idea. Just keep looking for repeated addition. Alright? And if I take all of the gallons and add them all up, what do we know? Um, uh, I'm going to work on it. Okay. Okay. It has to be equal to or less than. Now, okay. I also want to point this out. You all made your life way harder than it had to be because you know what you ignored this whole time? The real world context, which has units. I think you made this harder than it needed to be. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I figured out the answer within five seconds. So Set it out. What do you mean? Not everyone else did. And here's the thing. You found 0.4x, but you didn't fully know why. Because I saw over here, y'all doubted yourself when you did the 0. Point, or you did 12, you did 5 divided by 0. 0.4, right? And then you were like, well, maybe it's 5 times 0. 0.4. And that's the issue is we can get stuck on which one is correct because we don't fully know or can't fully explain. But 0. 0.4 what? Yeah. Gallons. Uh -oh. Gas. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's something else with it. Gallons of gasoline. Per hour. Per Hour. hour. If you took the time to think about it like that, y'all then multiplied by five what? Some like gallons. Are the gallons gonna cancel right now? Yeah. yeah. No. What's gallons times gallons? Gallons, oh, gallons squared. Gallons. Those don't cancel. So is that what I want? No. no. What do we need? Some number of hours. Do we know how many hours? No. 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 So what? 12 and a half. Well, you, after you solve it, so say it again, Gracie. X. X. Hours. Hey, what's hours divided by hours? Uh, one. 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 What is anything divided by itself, Chan? One. I know, but it's not hours, right? Hours divided by hours is one. What unit am I left with? Gallons. Gallons. And hey, what do we know is the maximum we could have? Oh. Man, if I just paid attention to my units, yes, we keep hearing repeated addition is multiplication, but also you should be hearing those units matter, right? If you use either of those ideas, right, I'm trying to give you a, a, a template, a foundational thing to recognize. If I can find some repeated addition, I'm going to multiply. If I can pay attention to my units, I might be able to figure out something that will cancel. They'll keep fighting me on it. That's something you got to commit to memory. So either way you approach it, though, 0.4x is less than or equal to 5, okay? Then the question becomes, right, one or more inequalities. We have one inequality. Is there any other inequalities that we need to write? Are there any other inequalities we need to write? It says, write one or more inequalities for this problem. I mean, or, that's like a, like a 
you choose type of thing, so I just stuck with one. Okay, so what would be our solutions here? Because first off, how are we going to represent our solutions every time? Huh? Okay, so we would divide to solve this. Okay, that is correct, but that's not quite what I'm asking. I asked how, well first off, why do we divide? Because they're being multiplied, right? What is the inverse of multiplication? Division. Notice 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.4 is? Thank you, somebody won, and 1 times x is x. And was it 12.5 gallon, or 12.5 not gallons, that's why we got to pay attention to units, hours of mowing, right? That's the solution. Notice, does he have to mow all of 12 and a half hours? No. No. Can he mow less than that and just refill his tank afterwards? Yes. But the question I asked is, how are we going to represent solutions? Okay, so hold on one second. What, how, what did you just use to represent that? Interval notation. Now, i got to point out, though, do you have an inequality here that says we've got to stop at zero? No. So, should we have had another inequality that we wrote? I mean, you only told me that x is less than or equal to 12 and a half hours. That includes negative two hours, doesn't it? Is that a possibility? Nope. So, what do I need to do? Huh? But where's the zero coming from? I don't see a zero here. <laughs> but that's a different problem. But if Okay, so it's the minimum. So what is the inequality I could also write? I could say that x needs to be what? Is it going to be less than zero or greater than zero? Greater than? Zero. Is that a second inequality here? Now, I will point this out. It has to be both of these, right? It has to have both at the same time. You also could have just said zero is less than 0.4x is less than or equal to 12.5. Nope. Five. That could have been a single compound inequality you could have written there. Okay. So notice we use the interval notation. And Gracie, instead of just rubbing the desk, if y'all write on the desk, just grab a paper towel with it. Oh, well, does it not work? I mean, it does, but don't scratch the desk. It doesn't get, scratch it. I'm just. You but just, then you also get junk all over the cap, and I don't love that. Yeah, because I then you use them. No, because then you get it all on my floors. <laughs> That's why I ask you to use paper towels. Anyway. She's making a wish. <laughs> okay, so. We represented those solutions in interval notation. What else do I need to use? There was something else I told you you're going to have to use to represent solutions of inequalities. We use properties to create equivalent inequalities. That's not what I said we need to use to represent the solutions. Say it louder. A number line. Did someone over there in group three say that? Huh? That's the number line, right? Sorry, my bad, DJ or Lexi, whoever's saying it. I'm like part of hearing, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. And so remember, yes, you need to use interval notation, but also I would have done the number line first because the number line might have told me right away, hey, wait. I need to stop at zero, right? Because what we already know that the maximum number of hours is what? Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. So I'm going to start here. Should it be an open point or a closed point? Open. Closed. Okay. Remember, an open point means it's not equal to. A closed point means it equals. Okay. So it's closed. All right. Now, one thing I want to pause on. Actually, we're going to look at it in just a second in the next problem. So 12.5, and then we know it's got to be less than. But notice when I start to draw, if we're paying attention to context, can I get into negative no. hours? No. So i got to stop zero at zero. Point. I would still argue, okay, you could mow for zero hours. So I might actually put 
a closed dot there and use a bracket on the zero. But this is why it's important that you justify. If you want to say, well, he's not going to mow for zero hours, bet, I'm good with that argument. We might disagree there, but have you explained your answer? Yes. Huh? Say it one more time. He could mow zero hours, but someone might say, well, he, he won't, right? Please hear me very clearly. You're used to being told math has one answer and one answer only, and I hear that from adults all the time, and that is wrong. What do you mean? Math can be justified in ways. And if you can explain your ideas and make an argument for why you think what you think, then you can get stuff correct, even when it's different than what I was thinking. Okay? There are... Math in the real world has lots of gray area and can be interpreted in lots of ways. So that is why it's important for you to justify. Plus, it shows me what you actually think. All right, we're almost done with today. Um, but I want to point this out before we get uh, to this tomorrow. And I will say, I will let you know tomorrow for sure. We may have to push the homework being or the homework being due back until Thursday. Um, so work on it tonight, see what you can do with it. Is this inequality much more complicated than the ones you were dealing with earlier? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Overall, are the properties of inequality the same that we've seen to the properties of equality? Yes. So we've used exactly the same properties of equality and inequality um, all the way through. Hey, hold on. You still have four minutes left. I'll give you time to pack. Um, so, please be aware that things can get more complicated. However, could you solve this inequality as an equation? Would it be a little bit easier to not have to stress about the inequality? Yeah? You can do that. Remember, one of the objectives early on was that we solve inequalities or look at inequalities and see how they are related to equations, right? So that's what we're going to start on here. Um, hold on, I'm trying to make a decision really quickly. No. Go ahead and start working on the homework. We'll tackle this tomorrow and then get into absolute value equations and inequalities. Um, yeah. So we're going to solve these with equations pretty easily as well. Yes, leave the homework on your desk so I can collect them. Eight and nine, yep. So this Okay. Yeah, and I even already put it in the homework that lesson 20 will be due Monday, maybe. Here's the thing I will say. I will be much more inclined to let that homework be due Thursday, if I can clearly see the majority of us have come to class prepared to ask questions and we are still just struggling. If we are struggling because we haven't done anything, I probably won't move the homework back. So, I would try to do some of that homework. Yay, good talk. Crazy, what is that? Is that a snakehead? Yeah, I don't know. I, I did not see it at first.